friends, Snibs again. Out here in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around tonight, and uh, I've been uh, playing around with my uh, antique uh, pellet guns out here. Uh, and I thought you guys would have a little bit of fun coming along with me. I've been working on a can. I've got it about halfway cut in half. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it in half uh, on video here with you guys, but I thought you guys might have a little bit of fun uh, watching me try to get it cut in half anyway. Um, kind of interesting. I've got these four guns. I've got my Eisenwerk uh, Gem or Jewel number 13. I've got my Quackenbush number one, my Quackenbush number four, and my Quackenbush number uh, five up here and we're going to shoot all all four of them maybe a couple times with each one and uh, just plink this can and see how much closer we can get it to cut in half <clears throat> the interesting thing with uh, with all four of those is every single one of them takes a different ammunition so um, the Eisenwerk is a 177 caliber pellet gun the uh, Quackenbush number one actually uses supposed to be 21 caliber um, the closest I could come up with, and it's and it's actually working pretty darn good, is these H and N 20 calibers. These are really intended for like a a, a Sheridan pump up uh, rifle, but those measure out at like 0 .205, 206, and they're really close, and they get a pretty good seal in that barrel. The uh, Quackenbush number four uses 22 caliber round balls which i found some game o's online and bought those i had originally been using my uh, tin of pellets that came with my ampel uh, acro one i didn't want to use up all those vintage ones and then the last one is my <clears throat> quackenbush model five or number five and that one's a 22 caliber and I use 22 caliber pellets in that one. It also can shoot 22 shorts, but we're not doing that in the garage. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Uh, I've just got some Crossman Premier Destroyers for the Eisenwerk. And uh, this one by far is the, the fastest of the four guns. This one clocks in it, depending on the pellet, between 400 and close to 500 feet per second. The, uh, all the quacking bushes are really slow compared to this. But it's not all about speed <laughs> all the time, it's about accuracy. So, uh, but this one's pretty accurate too. Kind of been having fun with playing with trying to cut these tin cans in half, and so that's the uh, that was the Eisenwerk. Let's uh, go ahead. <laughs> we'll get mixed up here and try to stick 22 caliber pellets into this gun. It won't won't do anything, but uh, this one's the 20 caliber. Uh, this one's probably the weakest out of the whole group, but it still <laughs> still does the job. Still hitting pretty good across the garage here. There's a definite art to cutting cans. Uh, you gotta you can't just keep aiming at the same point. You gotta move your aim point around, or you're never gonna get it done. It's, it's fun to plink on these cans though. So that is the Quackenbush number one. Now we'll move on to the Quackenbush model four. So this one I am actually going to, I have been shooting it without using the loading gate, but I'm gonna show you guys it's got this spring loaded loading gate and I'm gonna load a couple of these round balls in there and run it that way. Let's see, I'll do, I'll do four in this one. So you just close that spring-loaded loading gate, and then when you, once you cock it, 
you uh, activate this little lever, it's going to allow a pellet to come into the, the top part here and then you uh, push that over and it will drop it down into the barrel. Now you pull the barrel back out and we're ready to fire. the last one all right so <laughs> we're not getting too much closer to getting that can cut but we're having fun so last one is my cracking bush number five this thing is a beast everybody commented about the funny twang noise it makes so but uh, it's, the, it's got a real funky flat wound spring in there I'm really kind of surprised that the uh, the Eisenwerk doesn't make a similar kind of twang and noise they're both very similar uh, constructions here Not much left to that can, but it's holding on for dear life here. I can so this has a, a peep sight or a barrel sight. I think I'm gonna use the now I'm sh I'm shooting through. I hit the can a little bit, but miss it. there's so much shredded there already that I'm going through where it's already tore open. it again but alrighty so there you go there's my my adventures my fun out in the garage here trying to cut cans in half playing with pellet guns that are 130 140 years old potentially some of them the uh, the Eisenwerk was made as early as 1870 something uh, as late as 1900 uh, rest of the quacking bushes were it from the 1870s up into about the 1910s 1930s um, I believe the number one is actually my youngest gun out here and that one was probably around 1933 or so uh, they made 36,000 of them and that one has got a 36,000 uh, serial number so it was right at the tail end of the production of those but, Anyway, there you go. There's uh, some some can cutting in the garage. Didn't quite get it all the way apart, but I'll probably work on a little bit more once I cut the video off here. But there's the uh, Eisenwerk. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Till next time, have a great day. One eternity later.